Hello and welcome to Jamaica, the fourth busiest station in North America and the center of the Long Island Railroad. Today we're going to be taking a quick commute between here and Grand Central Madison, the LIRR's newest station. This video is a supplement to our full tour of Grand Central Madison, and if you missed that video, feel free to check it out using the links in the top right or in the description below. Located 10 miles east of Manhattan, Jamaica is the central connection between the entirety of the Long Island Railroad network, serving 10 of its 11 rail lines. Making our way towards the center of the station, we can purchase a ticket for our quick ride to Grand Central. Tickets between Jamaica and Grand Central cost $7.75, which is quite a lot considering the distance traveled. That being said, using the station as a transfer point instead of as an origin reduces that cost by quite a bit. With our ticket now in hand, we can head out to the platform. At the time of filming, the only way to get between Jamaica and Grand Central was via city terminal trains. During Grand Central's first month of service, the LIRR operated a reduced schedule to the station, but as of Monday, February 27th, the station has opened up to a full service from lines across the network. This now means the passengers do not have to transfer at Jamaica when traveling to or from Grand Central. Looking at the displays around the station, we find that our train, the 1009 Grand Central Express, will be departing from track 4. Looking below, we find that our train is already here, so we can make our way down to track level. Our train over to Grand Central consists of five Bombardier M7 EMUs, the current workhorse of the LIRR. Making our way towards the front of the train, we can find an open door and climb aboard. As we wait for our train to depart, let's take a look at our route over to Grand Central Terminal. Our journey begins like any other ride into Manhattan, heading northwest through Forest Hills and past I-495. Our train passes by Woodside, turning west and into the beginnings of the Sunnyside Yard, but there is where the similarities end. Before we even get a good look at the yard itself, our train dips below ground into the first of two new tunnels. This first tunnel takes us beneath Sunnyside Yard, connecting up with the 63rd Street Tunnel just west of Northern Boulevard. The 63rd Street Tunnel is the focal point of our transit into Manhattan and guides us under West Queens, Roosevelt Island, the East River, and the first three blocks of East Manhattan. Past 2nd Avenue, the tracks break off into the second of the new tunnels, curving south to align with Park Avenue and our destination of Grand Central Madison. Our journey will cover around 10 miles between Jamaica and Midtown Manhattan, with a travel time of 20 minutes. Right as the time hits 10.09, the doors close and our train departs Jamaica for this quick ride over to Grand Central. Seating on M7s is right in line with most commuter trains, with about 3 inches between my knees and the seat in front. There's also a bit of space beneath the next row to stretch out in our best attempt to get comfortable. Between the headrests in each row are handles to aid in entrance and egress. Each row also includes a small armrest on the wall below the windows, with another on the aisle side of the seats. A standard feature on newer rolling stock that is missing from M7s are the outlets in each row. Above the seats in each row are luggage racks, although they can be rather difficult to access when reaching above the three-seat side of the train. The headrests are fairly well padded and wrap around your head to provide some extra support for those who want to take a quick nap on their commute. That being said, the seat backs are kind of hard and lack separation between each passenger. As this is an express service, our train is able to pick up speed on our way to Midtown Manhattan, peaking at a top speed of 60 miles an hour. The Northeast Corridor soon joins up with the LIRR tracks into Penn Station, but we only see the overhead wires for a few hundred feet before we begin our descent. The walls quickly rise on both sides of the train, and we're soon plunged into darkness.
There unfortunately isn't much to see in the tunnels beneath the East River, but there are a few spurts of light as we pass Plaza Interlocking, named after Queen's Plaza directly above us. The top speed in the tunnels is set at 60 miles an hour, and our train driver brings us right up to that limit, the tunnel lights whipping past. For a brief second, we can catch a glimpse of the Roosevelt Island ventilation shaft and emergency exits. As we reach Manhattan, our train begins to slow, as is made apparent by the whir of the traction motors. This sound is soon replaced by the screeching of steel as we make our way around the curve at 2nd Avenue. A few track changes later and darkness turns to light as we pull into Grand Central Madison. The doors open and we can head downstairs to make our way up to the Madison Concourse and on to Grand Central Terminal. A rather long ride up the escalators brings us into Grand Central Madison, the LIRR's beautiful new station. This new facility is amazing. The elegant granite of Grand Central proper continues on in this new station, and it's made all the better by the great lighting. Overall, the station is a huge step forward for rail travel in NYC. That's all I'll say about Grand Central Madison, as I've already done an in-depth tour of the station. If you missed that video, then click the link in the top right or in the description below to check it out. If you're new around here, then why not hit that subscribe button? It's totally free, and it really helps support the channel. There's a lot more incredible content on the way, so stick around if you want to see more. I also want to give a huge shout out and thank you to my patrons and channel members. If you too want your name in the video, or just want to support the channel in more ways than one, then head on over to the links in the description below. But anyways, that's all I have for today. Thanks for riding with me, and I'll see you in the next one.